Good morning subs and random viewers. Did you sleep well? Because I stayed up all night wondering where my subs went. So, let's talk about echo chambers. Why are people so triggered by the term echo chamber, but insist on living in one? Ever since Trump got elected, my sub base has been pretty unstable. And I had a pretty decent growth rate going, but now it's stagnated. And I'm not sure if the people that were subbed to us weren't sure of which side of the election we sell on, or if they just couldn't handle the videos that showed outright support for Trump afterwards. Is it really that hard to hear an opinion that disagrees with yours? Why? The times I learn the most is when I listen to information that I don't know. And that should be the case for you as well. Now, I'm going to say this to everybody, not just the people that don't share my opinion. Don't be afraid to learn something about the other side. I came from the left over to the less left, and so did Sagan. Because I don't feel like my political position has changed all that much, as much as the left has shifted to a crazy fucking place. But it was only by learning what the position of the other side was, that we came to the conclusion that the left has gone way too far. But we didn't stop learning. We still debate with other people, and still debate with each other. And we won't stop. And if Trump starts to overstep his bounds, and make things worse, we'll speak out against that as well. As Sagan likes to say, we are politically homeless. And that's my main point. Your political stance should not define who you are. Identity politics is ruining people at this point. As Tyler Durden once said, You are not special. You are not a beautiful or unique snowflake. You are the same decaying organic matter as everything else. It's your lack of identifiers that will set you free. You are not your sexuality because according to you, Sexuality is fluid. You are not your gender because according to your own definition, gender is fluid. You are not your political stance because politics are not sides. Politics are on a sliding spectrum like everything else. And you are not your race because we are all human. Stop barricading yourself within your own ideology and set yourself free. See who has the best ideas. See who has the worst. See who has ideas, and what others think of them. And if ideas make you uncomfortable, it's because you should know more about them, not less. That uncomfortable feeling in the pit of your stomach isn't common sense, it's cognitive dissonance. Explore the ideas, find out where people are getting them, find out why most of them are rejected, and why others are embraced. What kind of world do you want to live in? It was George Bush that coined the term, the soft bigotry of low expectations. Remember that phrase, next time you demand that people are given special exemptions, privileges, and considerations. You may think that what you're doing is giving that subgroup a boost. Think again. All you're doing is creating an uneven playing field for everybody. On top of that, you're also creating the notion of a subgroup, which is the worst thing you can do for anyone. The only thing that we as a people need to do is band together. To unify as a whole and to create a bigger and stronger interwoven community. The worst thing you can do for anyone is turn people into a subgroup. And we all know what kind of people start creating subgroups and talking about how much worse off the people in the subgroups are. Supremacy groups do that. You know, that thing that you guys keep calling everybody else? So, let's just remember. The world isn't fair. Because we aren't born equal. Not genetically, not economically, not psychologically, and not physically. And there is no amount of social engineering or legislation that can fix that. And on top of that, we all live in a world with different governments, different regions, different climates, and different religions. Accept it, know it, and love it. If you really want to help other people, put yourself in a position where you can help others. And help them. Lead by example. But don't demand that everybody do it for you. And as a friend of mine once told me, you can't legislate a man's heart, but you might be able to open it. Thank you, and good night.